Okay, it's time for some overseas news and let's head to the US now where very unprecedented and historic scenes unfolded this week after former President Donald Trump pleaded not guilty in Miami to charges he unlawfully took classified documents from the White House after his election loss in 2020. Joining me from Florida is host of The Right View and his daughter-in-law, Lara Trump. Lara, great to have your time as always. Massive week. Every time we speak, it is drama. This week, no different. Yeah, this week is no different. Uh, it was an interesting week for sure. Um, you know, in the Trump family, we're used to a lot of interesting weeks, as it turns out, and we certainly had no lack of that this week. Obviously historic in America for all the worst possible reasons, seeing my father-in-law in a federal courthouse in Miami for reasons that I think most people in America are still trying to figure out. On the other side of the coin, though, we did get to spend time together as a family to celebrate my niece Arabella's bar mitzvah this week. It was my father-in-law's 77th birthday this week. So we kind of take the good with the bad in the Trump family. And uh, all in all, I'll say it's a week we will remember, um, but I certainly hope that we have more good weeks than bad weeks on the horizon. Were you with the former president the whole time this was occurring? I saw you share some photos on his aeroplane with your kids. So what was going on behind the scenes? Yeah, I was actually there in uh, Miami with my father-in-law at the hotel at our resort in Doral. I was there with my kids and my husband, obviously. As I mentioned, we celebrated uh, the bar mitzvah for our niece over the weekend, and so we were all there together. Um, and you know what? He's, he's sort of an incredible human being. I don't know any other person who could take all that Donald Trump takes to be dealing with something like he is right now in this moment and when we were there on Tuesday in uh, Miami and still have such a relaxed sense about him, still be able to joke and honestly still be able to take time to really enjoy his grandchildren. Um, I'll tell you, my kids, Luke and Carolina, were so excited. We were waiting on the plane whenever he came uh, back from the courthouse and visiting Versailles. Uh, of course, in Miami, when he kind of made his little stop after the courthouse. And my kids were so excited to greet him. It's all they wanted to do. They ran up, they gave grandpa a big hug. And um, it's just really nice to see that he can still enjoy life's special moments like that, even in the midst of something like this. Uh, so you know what, in some ways, I think a lot of people would say, oh, that must have been tough to be there with him. I wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else in the world. I think my husband would second that. And of course, our kids were just happy to spend some time with grandpa.